Hi guys, Bebo here, and I figured I would just record a video while I had just finished my other video that I recorded of me doing some music and stuff. So, this is my daily vlog that I haven't done in forever. Sorry about that. I've been very busy. So essentially I've been working myself to death because GTS Distribution's Come and Play Day is coming up on Tuesday, I think. Tuesday is when I fly in to Atlanta. And essentially what we're going to be doing there is I'm going to be playing a bunch of new games, of course, and learning them and taking pictures and posting those for you guys. So we have advertising pictures for next year and stuff. On to more exciting things. So today the Kodama Kickstarter launched from Action Phase Games and Kodama is a game that was a is a is an evolution of Kiji, which, as many of you know, is one of my favorite games. Um. I actually have it right here and I love Kiji so much that I painted this custom box for it which ended up completely and utterly adorable and Kiji is this little game by Daniel Solis where you start out with this little tiny where you start out with this little tiny tree and then you slowly add more tree branches to it and the way that you score points is for every consecutive touching symbol that is attached to another symbol of the same type, you get a point. So this would be worth six points. Woohoo! Um, but Kodama is totally different and you can't play on other people's trees. And I'm working on a small box blog post for it, but I need to take some pictures tonight. But first I have to find my camera charger. So anyway, go check out Kodama. Of course, I'll put it in the comments down below. Um, let's see, what else have I been up to? Let's check my schedule. Which doesn't want to load. Ah, The Grizzled came out this week, which I know I've been talking about endlessly to all of you. Um, go pick that up. Seriously, it's going to be like one of the games of the year. I think it's an absolutely fantastic, fast-paced game. It probably hits the table more than anything else in my house right now. It is absolutely phenomenal. Um, in November... Automobiles is coming out from David Short, which is, you know, automobiles, you know, trains, planes. I think they're, uh, it, they're trains and planes and automobiles. I'm an AG black box. It's going to have to move. Where am I going to fit all of these games? Um, and I read somewhere that it is a, it is a deck building game, but instead of deck building, you're drafting cubes, which are your car or something, so... Sounds interesting. Um, I was like, it's not a dice drafting game, but it's a cube drafting game, which really intrigued me. And I can't wait to give it a shot. Um, let's see, what else? I'm running two contests right now. Two, one, two. One for Blue Orange games and one for Munchkin and Steve Jackson games. And essentially all you have to do is for the Blue Orange contest, you just have to tweet a picture of a blue orange game that you want to play you don't even have to have it you can google a picture i'll give you an image library that you can choose from um and you tweet it at blue orange using the hashtag play bog i don't even care if you tweet it to me just use the hashtag play bog which stands for blue orange games of course and you will be entered to win the munchkin contest you need to tweet at me because I can't enter you to win a flame mat unless I know that you know who I am. Because I can't give everybody in the Show Me the Munchkin contest um, the opportunity to win a play mat. So I want to make sure that it's just going to my audience. That said, there are... The cool thing about the Munchkin play... Blah, 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 blah. Hi. The cool thing about the Munchkin competition contest thing is that I got four... Four. I have four play mats signed and like three people have entered. So as of right now, those people are guaranteed playmats. You guys should go enter. High chance of winning. And then the Blue Orange Games one's pretty cool. Um, you can win a pretty sweet New York 1901 game kit thing that also comes with an exclusive promo. So you want to check that out. Let's see. What else? My hand's healing okay. I don't know if I already said that. I probably already said that, but then I re-recorded. I don't know. My hand, it's healing. I put a magnet in my hand. Do you want to see the magnet in my hand? You probably want to see the magnet in my hand, right? So, I let somebody cut me open. 
and put a magnet inside of my hand. And it's pretty cool. And the best part is, is that me and my friend Emily, Emily Safer, uh, we got matching ones. So you guys can be cool with all of your friendship tattoos, but we have friendship magnets. We're forever attracted to each other. Forever. Whether we like it or not. Because magnets. In our skin. In our fingers. Okay. I'm still, fre I'm freaking myself out. Um, and I only threw up once when I watched him push all the blood out of my finger and cut it open and jam a magnet in it. It was awesome. And I didn't even, I didn't even get sick until they, they stitched it up. It was awesome. Um, okay. Well, on that note, I don't really have that much to tell you guys about games. I've just been, I've been working on a lot of advertisements and working on pushing a lot of stuff out this week. Oh, I guess I should probably mention, uh, Mistfall from NSKN Games is coming out this week too. And that looks really cool. And this is my kitten, Kess. Isn't she beautiful? She probably hates me for getting her up, but she's a good kitty. Aren't you, baby? And apparently she will just sit right here on my shoulder. What a good kitty. I love you too. Anyway, I'll see you guys next week. I'm definitely not going to have any daily vlogs until after come and play day, but I wanted to give you a heads up that uh, I'm very busy and I love you anyway, all of you.